Although for many years Puru Rava had enjoyed such pleasure in the evening hours, still he was not satiated with such insignificant enjoyment. His mind was so attracted to Urvasi that he did not notice how the nights were coming and going. King Haile said, Alas, just see the extent of my delusion. This goddess has embraced me and held my neck in a grip. My heart was so polluted by lust that I had no idea how my life was passing. The lady cheated me. See, I am not writing this. The lady cheated me in so much that I did not even see the rising or setting of the sun. Alas, for so many years, I passed my days in vain. Although I am supposed to be a mighty emperor, the crown jewel of all kings on this earth, just see how my bewilderment has rendered me a toy animal in the hands of women. Although I was a powerful lord with great opulence, that woman gave me up as fever. I was no more than an insignificant blade of grass. And still naked and without shame, I followed her crying out to her like a madman. Where are, where are my so-called great influence, power and sovereignty? Just like an ass been kicked in the face by his she-ass, I ran after that woman who had already given me up. What the use of big education or the practice of austerity and renunciation, what the use of studying religious scriptures or living in solitude and silence if, after all, one's mind is stolen by a woman. In other words, you cannot become spiritually advanced if you are, you know, having relationship with a woman. To hell with me, I am such a fool that I didn't even know what was good for me. Although I was arrogantly, I thought of. I was highly intelligent. Although I achieved the exalted position of Lord, I allowed myself to be conquered by a woman as if I were a bullock or a jackass. And you see, uh, even after I had served the so-called nectar of the leaves of Urvashi for many years, my lusty desires kept rising again and again within my heart and were never satiated, just like fire that can never be extinguished by the oblations of ghee poured into its flame. Who but the Supreme Personality of God who lies beyond the material perception and is the Lord of self-satisfied sages can possibly save my consciousness which has been stolen by a prostitute. See that now he's realizing who but the Supreme Personality of God that the only way out of this mess is the Supreme Personality of God. See what he's saying. Because I allowed my intelligence to become dull and because I failed to control my senses, the great confusion in my mind did not go away. Even though Urvasi herself gave me wise counsel with well-spoken words. How can I blame her for my trouble when I myself am ignorant of my real spiritual nature? I did not control my senses, so I am like a person who mistakenly sees a harmless rope as a snake. This is the point here. It is not Urvasi the problem, it's me. Because I am not controlling my senses. See? What is this polluted body anyway? So filthy and full of bad odors. I was attracted by the flower-like fragrance and beauty of a woman's body. But what is those so-called attractive features? It's simply a false covering created by illusion. What difference is there between ordinary worms and persons who try to enjoy this material body composed of skin, flesh, blood, muscle, fat, marrow, bone and stool, urine and pus? What the difference? The worm also eating, I am also doing, no, no better than the worm. Yet even one who theoretically understands the actual nature of the body should never associate with women or with men attached to women. After all, the contact of the senses with the object inevitably agitates the mind. Because the mind is not disturbed by that which is neither seen nor heard, the mind of a person who restricts the material senses will automatically be checked in its natural activities and become pacified. So the only way is to become, you know, detached. And therefore, therefore one should never let his senses associate freely with women or with man attached to women. Even though, even those who are highly learned cannot trust the six enemies of the mind, what to speak then, a foolish person like me, the Supreme Personality of God, this is spoken by God, Krishna himself. Thus, having to chanted this song, Maharaj Pururava, eminent among the demigods and human beings, gave up the position he had achieved in the planet of Urvasi, 
His illusion cleansed by transcendental knowledge, he understood me to be the supreme soul within his heart, and so at last achieved peace. You see that? So the only way he came out was by becoming attached to Krishna. 